the funny side of Greyhound Anatomy. Today on the Greyhound Home Care Channel, we're going to nail down some of the names of those technical Greyhound pieces and parts so you can better communicate with all kinds of professional dog people. This is an article by Lori Amato and Ellie Goldstein, which I thought was an awful lot of fun, so today I'm sharing it with you. They called it the Greyhound Owner's Compendium of Uncommon Uses for Common Parts of the Anatomy. And they start off with the eye of the Greyhound. Doe like, capable of conning the average owner out of half the food on his plate, can convince the owner of total innocence even though the New York Times lays shredded on the bed. The ears, capable of hearing a can opener a mile away, can never quite make up their mind if they should be back, up, down, sideways, or a combination. The mouth, from it comes smiles, chatters, barks, whimpers, and whines, can inhale edibles in a flash. The nose, used to nudge open cabinets to get goodies, always ending up where it does not belong. Sneezing on owner's glasses is another specialty. The brain, constantly looking for trouble to get into. Wheels always spinning and turning. And if your brain's telling you that you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up while you're watching and subscribe to the channel so you'll always be the first to know when a new video comes out. The crest, the part of the neck that is supposed to stop the collar before it shoots over the greyhound's head. The withers, where you're supposed to measure the dog's height from if he'll stand still for long enough. The shoulder, the envy of Mr. America. The elbow, that pointy object that grinds into your body as your dog settles onto your lap. The tush, you know what, I don't think that's the scientific term for it, but anyway, potent exhaust system usually presented to humans for scratching. The tail, a whip, deadly for anything at coffee table height. When it makes contact with skin, it can bring a grown man to tears. The hawk, pointy thing on the back of the leg. The chest and the waist, what most people would kill for. The toes, also known as dirt and mud collectors. Well, I hope you enjoyed that bit of lighthearted fun as much as I did, and I'll see you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.